around campus and around the country, it is clear that cars are the main mode of transportation. More cars are hitting the road every day, creating urgency for change in the transportation industry. In the United States, cars are one of the major contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. Gasoline in cars pollutes the air, while gas prices have risen steadily over time. Presently, companies are researching alternative fuels which can power cars in order to decrease dependence on oil, which will also decrease greenhouse gas emissions. A promising source of alternative fuel is hydrogen. Currently, the hydrogen fuel industry is growing as automobile makers are starting to manufacture vehicles that run off hydrogen fuel. The type of fuel cell used in a car is called a polymer exchange membrane fuel cell, abbreviated as PEMFC. PEMFCs are used because they are small and lightweight. Fuel cells work by converting hydrogen into electricity. Hydrogen is run through the tubing in the anode. The protons are exchanged in the membrane between the anode and cathode. In fuel cells, anodes are positively charged electrodes that attract anions. Cathodes are negatively charged electrodes that attract cations. Between the anode and cathode, there is a catalyst, which is usually platinum. In the fuel cell, the hydrogen is split by platinum. Oxygen or air is run through the tubing in the cathode. When the protons from the hydrogen are exchanged, the products are electricity and water. One fuel cell creates about 0.7 volts. Therefore, many of the fuel cell plates are put together into a stack. That allows for a higher output of electricity. The electricity produced runs an electric motor that hooks up to a drivetrain, enabling the car to move. One major benefit is that the only byproducts of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are water and heat. The production and distribution used to create hydrogen fuel is more efficient than gasoline. Fuel cells can harness 60% of the energy stored in hydrogen, while gasoline-powered engines use only 20% of the energy stored in the gasoline. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles could also benefit humans' health sense. They lower greenhouse gas emissions, which make up harmful smog that blankets crowded cities. Long-term exposure to smog can lead to respiratory problems like difficulty breathing. Fuel cell vehicles have great gas mileage and get 50 to 60 miles per gallon on average. Their mileage is on par with the hybrid Toyota Prius, which gets 50 miles per gallon. One major disadvantage is that hydrogen does not exist abundantly on Earth, so extracting it from compounds is expensive. Though hydrogen energy is renewable and its environmental impacts are minimal, we still need another non-renewable source like coal, oil, and natural gas to separate it from oxygen. It is also highly flammable. Hydrogen in itself is a very powerful source of fuel. We all know the effects of the hydrogen bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. Containing hydrogen is extremely difficult because it is volatile and its weight is very heavy. Conceptually replacing the current oil-based infrastructure with hydrogen would cost billions, maybe trillions of dollars. Many companies are racing to build and commercially produce hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. One of the companies at the front of the rush is Toyota. Toyota is currently developing and marketing a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle simply called the FCV car. Starting in mid-2015, the car will be available to purchase for around $50,000. Toyota has spent 20 years working on the technology needed to make this car marketable and have made many amazing advances in the fuel cell vehicles. Another company working to put hydrogen fuel cell vehicles on the market is Hyundai. Hyundai has developed a fuel cell vehicle called the Tuscan Fuel Cell Car. The company is planning on leasing the car at only four specific dealerships in California. The price is starting at 499 a month for 36 months, which includes all maintenance and even fuel cost. Honda, another prominent automobile maker, has been developing road-ready hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. The model they have been working on is called the FCX Clarity. The car is expected to be available sometime in 2015. A preliminary model, the FCX Clarity, has been leased for $600 a month in the past, so consumers should expect a similar price range for the new model. A car company based in the United States is also working on building a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. 
Ford has been involved in the hydrogen fuel cell technology for many years, and in 2007, they were one of the first companies to release a car with its alternative technology. The FCV Focus was only made available to the limited programs across the globe, including the states of Florida and Michigan, and the cities of Sacramento, California, and Vancouver and British. Columbia. A luxury car brand, Mercedes-Benz, has also taken interest in the hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and technology behind the cars. The company has announced that they plan to have their B-Class FC vehicle on the market by 2017 for consumers lease. The new model is expected to be leased for around $849 a month, which includes fuel and insurance. Another American company, GM, is working to make market hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. GM HY Wire is a concept model that was introduced in 2002. The extreme futuristic model is one that was planned to be solid for the general public, but never got a solid enough base to mass produce and be sold. There are many setbacks in switching to a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle based economy, but with some refinements, the hydrogen fuel cell energy has great potential. A hydrogen fuel cell economy would decrease reliances on foreign oil since it can be produced in the United States. Also, it would benefit people's health by lowering harmful greenhouse gases. A drawback of switching to a fuel cell economy would be the cost. It would cost a substantial amount of money to rebuild the transportation infrastructure in the United States. Incorporating a hydrogen fuel cell economy may be hard, but would be worthwhile in the long run.